What, what, did you lose a bet, or are you really a Rams fan? I love the Rams. It's Monday Night Football. Do you really love the Rams? I really love the Rams. <laughs> and we're 1-0. <laughs> no, well, we don't we're know We're 1-0! 1-0! Whose house? <laughs> All right, See, I'm the only Ram man. Okay, they don't man. know. <laughs> No, yeah, I feel like, you know yeah. what, I don't feel like there are, or maybe just you, sure. are any huge Rams fans, unless you're from St. Louis, which We're you're new. not, right? Right, and they're embittered, understandably so. Right. I'm an L.A. native, born uh -huh. and raised, first sporting event I ever went to. I was about as old as that baby from the car, uh -huh. and my parents took me to a Rams game at the Coliseum. Oh. And when I was 18, 19, I, I promised myself the first NFL team that L.A. got, I was all in. And it just happened to be the Rams. It was perfect. That's a so. weird promise to make yourself. Yeah. You know? and I was lonely. <laughs> Do you go to the games? I have season, I've had season tickets for the last three years. And yeah, I go to all the home games. Wow. And tonight is Monday Night Football. is a season opener in yeah. Oakland. Right, yeah. Right. Playing the Raiders, yeah. Playing Raiders. I, I'm so glad Sean Penn didn't wear Raiders shoulder pads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it doesn't seem very Sean Penny it's to me, not, I don't not. think. So, okay, so you're, you love the Rams. You're yes. into this kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> In I love general. It. Are you yeah. like a Lakers and all that stuff? Or is it uh, all LA like teams or just like this? The Lakers was my dad's team, you know, and Dodgers is a baseball team if I claim it. But I just, I love football. Um, and, I, and, and, and it's about the tradition for me. I grew up in Big Bear, California, which is like so small weird. Yeah. Such a weird place to grow up, I right? Mean, we're getting to know each other, but yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm throwing you all sorts of curveballs. <laughs> um, yeah, it, but it was, you know, like Big Bear High School football is a very big deal. Our next door neighbors, the Mazers, were huge 49ers fans. Mm -hmm. I was just always very envious of that tradition. Right. Um, and, and now so, you have one. Now I'm starting well, one. You're I'm the only it. one, unfortunately. I know. Yeah. I'm so, I was the only one that I tried to get people to go with me to this, the preseason game at the Raiders, uh -huh. and I couldn't get anybody to go with me. Oh, really? Yeah, a lot of, lot of last-second cancellations. <laughs> but then en route to the stadium, <laughs> it's like 95 degrees, traffic is insane, the LA cliche, and I just got so frustrated that I was not going to brave the Coliseum by myself with a bunch of Raiders fans, so like, I veered left and I went to see Crazy Rich Asians by myself. <laughs> <laughs> in like head to toe Rams gear. Really? I had my hat, my jersey, and I just fell in love with Gemma Chan. Yeah, wow, that's unbelievable. Yeah. You're, you're living a strange life it's, and a lonely it, life. It's yeah. whimsical, I'll say. You were, uh, I, this is kind of interesting. I didn't realize yeah. you'd done this. You were in, how, how long did you do Hamilton? I, I played King George in Hamilton for three months on Broadway. For three months? Yeah. And that yeah. That's pretty great. It and was then so fun. People drive you crazy asking you for tickets and all that kind of stuff. I will say, like, six years on Saturday Night Live, which is a coveted ticket. Right. Like, not even not even half the amount as many people asked for Hamilton tickets. Is that true? Uh, it's, uh, absolutely true. People coming out of the woodwork of just what like, do you do? How do you? I would be a nightmare yeah. for that. I'd wind up just buying them all tickets somehow. <laughs> and that's really what yeah. I would wind up doing. You're nicer than I. I was okay. <laughs> I was okay to be like. You know, you, I have two a show. The, the show is very good because at that point it had been on for almost a year. Right. And they kind of teach you, like, the, the sort of cold calling script to stick to. Like, they do. Thank you, random aunt I've never heard of. But <laughs> unfortunately, we are out of Hamilton tickets. <laughs> is and, that right? Oh, yeah. They yeah, guide yeah. you on that. that. They help you. They say, like, tell them, tell them that you're booked or whatever. Yeah, but it was amazing. The sh doing the show was just, it was like fantasy camp. And now you have uh, this show on ABC, yeah. and it's a very funny show. Thank you. It's it's funny, it, you know, everybody today at work is like, yeah, this is a really funny show. You just oh, now kind thanks, of assume, man. like, a network show is not going to be as sure. good as these other shows that are all on these pay services. There's so much to consume. It's so hard to compete. Yeah. But I think what this show does best is, I, I think it's very funny, but I think uh, uh, the, the, the sentimental stuff is, is what spoke to me when I read the script. There's a lot of heart. I'm a father myself. I have two, two daughters, and so... Um, that's that's what I'm most proud of. Bless you. <laughs> Camera two. Uh, see that? Camera two <laughs> suffering from allergies. <laughs> you really? It's really interesting. This, you were uh, an avowed music theater nerd. You're now dressed up like you should probably just should have had your face painted when you came out sure. here tonight. I thought about it. Are you me. hoping that this ensemble makes you like the like what Kevin Hart is to the Philadelphia Eagles? Absolutely. You will become that to the there Rams. Was, there was a ranking like on a fan blog oh. of like celebrity. Rams fans. Were there any others? Yes. Number yeah, one was Ty Burrell. Oh, really? From Modern okay. Family All right. and from ABC. Yeah. But I, 
I definitely think I've pulled ahead. But <laughs> third, who I think is really number one, was Danny Trejo. Oh, is that right? Danny Trejo is the biggest <laughs> yeah, celebrity you really, Rams fan. You think he really cares about the Rams? He's at every game. Oh, he is, okay. Selling Trejo's tacos. Okay, all right, well, yeah, <laughs> sure. Shirtless. <laughs> with his with this Rams just You're on right. the jumbotron. Danny is number one, yeah. <laughs> but Chet it takes it. Yeah, next time lose the shirt, we'll see if we can get you to the top of the list. It's a deal. <laughs> all right, that's Taryn Killam, everybody. Single Parents premieres Wednesday night, September 26th, here at ABC. Thanks for watching, and remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.